All right, let's take it again. Measure 948. Cut. Rushing. Cut. Too slow. Cut. Third drag was crushed. Cut. Flam was flat. Cut. Tack was late. Cut. Tack was early. Hey tenor drummers, so you're the best drummer at your school, you've learned all sorts of licks on lot hype, you've practiced, practiced, and practiced, but you still get cut from the drum core. Why does this happen? To be honest, it can happen to anybody, including twice for me. So in this video, I'm going to talk about six reasons why chops alone aren't enough to make a DCI tenor line. Let's check them out. Reason number one. You didn't learn the music. This one might seem a little obvious to you, but when I auditioned for the 2001 Cavaliers season, I really focused on the beginning of the audition packet. But you know what happened? The third exercise we played was from the last page of the packet. I hadn't gotten nearly that far, and when it was my turn to go up and play, it was ugly. I got cut very soon after that. So you not only want to learn all the music, you want to make sure that every single note is in your hands to where you don't even have to think about it. You're going to have so much going on in your mind, you want to have as much on autopilot as possible. Reason number two, your technique doesn't match the rest of the line. I've seen all sorts of videos of kids just throwing down with way more chops than I had at their age. But unfortunately, their technique doesn't really match what the top lines are doing. The audience isn't going to catch every random dirty attack or crush diddle, but if there's a player that is playing with a different technique than the rest of the line, it's going to be a visual tick. Some of the most common things I see tenor drummers doing are playing with a very French grip. I went back and watched videos of all the top lines just to make sure, and none of them really play with a French grip like that. A couple other things I see are when you're doing crosses, the wrists tend to bend out a little bit. What you should be doing is just a slight rotation from the elbow, the wrist stays exactly the same. Another thing I see is also a lot of overuse of the back fingers, even at slow tempos. You want to save these so when it comes time to really play some fast notes, you can then start using those fingers to help get those notes out. All of this is covered in detail in my free tenor drumming course, so be sure to check it out. Reason number three, you can't play clean. If you're the best tenor drummer at your school, you're probably section leader, and maybe you've been section leader for a year or two. And yes, you've been listening into the snares and locking in with them, or watching the drum major, but you haven't gotten to exercise the skills of listening in, matching heights, interpretation, and stick movements, and not just for a rep or two. You need to play clean over and over for hours. So if you've been section leader and you haven't had this practice, switch roles with one of your line mates and try playing to someone. It forces you to adapt to their style of play. Reason number four, you can't physically handle the show. The drum corps is tough. The two years I spent with the Cavaliers were by far the hardest things I ever did, both physically and mentally. You're practicing 12 hours a day every single day, or you only practice four to six hours and then go do a show that night. Those tenor drums are heavy. Other than maybe the contras and the lower bass drums, you have one of the hardest jobs on the field physically. If you're not in proper physical shape, either overweight or underweight, the staff might see that as a liability. So if you're a little underweight, do some push-ups, lift some weights so you can bulk up a little bit. Or if you're a little overweight, start jogging, working on that cardio. So when you show up to audition camp, your physical appearance isn't a liability. Reason number five, you have a bad attitude. When you're marching drum corps, you're gonna spend all day, every day with these people. There are gonna be some tough days, especially mid-July when it's hot, tensions are high because maybe you didn't perform as well as you wanted to the night before, and it's gonna be easy to be in a bad mood. So if you're in a bad mood in audition camp and can't get along with people then, it's gonna be very tough spending all summer with someone acting like that. So this is an easy one, and make sure you don't overlook it. The final reason, reason number six, 
is there really aren't that many spots. Even if you learned all the music, your technique looks great, you're playing clean, you can physically handle the show, you're someone that everyone loves to be around, sometimes there just aren't enough spots. The techs have some really difficult decisions to make when it comes down to those last few cuts. This happened to me in 2002, where early on I was a shoe in but by the time February camp rolled around, there were six tenor drummers for only five spots. The techs had to make a tough decision, and they let me go. I was devastated. I couldn't understand how that had happened. But I was called back a few months later and actually ended up being an inside guy for the 2002 season. So whatever happens to you at audition camp, stay positive, keep working hard, and you never know how things will work out. All right, tenor drummers, I'll see you on the next video.